Let's do it. You can definitely solo and do some lead stuff on the acoustic. To explain that and what uh, backing track per se or chord progression we're going to use is from a Dylan song called Oh Sister, which I will have a lesson on and the harmonica lesson on, but it's in the key of G. So we have this chord progression of G, the B minor to C. We have this walking down effect from C, B, A back to your G. So then the second line is gonna be G, E minor, then C, and then that riff again. So it's a cool little riff that you can do um, in this little backing track kind of uh, chord progression that we got going on here. So there's only like two lines in all reality. It's this G, B minor, C, and then the G. G, E minor, C, G. All right, so in the key of G, and there's a few things that we can do with that. Uh, on the acoustic, right, we have the open position right here, uh, our G chord that we all know and love, right? And we can uh, do some solo stuff from that to this B minor. So we could do six, open on the five, and then two on the five to get that B chord. And you can just do another half step to the third fret to get that C, and you can just walk it back down. So that first line, you could just do effectively Right? And you can you saw me do that stuff, right? You can uh, do some bends and some wiggles and some slides and some pull-offs, right? That's how you make this sound like a solo, right? It's pretty simple. We have one, two, three, four notes, but the way that the song is going, the way that you can do your pull-offs and all that good stuff, you can make it into something special. Now that second line, uh, going to that the E minor there, so you can still start on the sixth string here. You can work your way down, right? Just think of your E minor. It's your E note on the D string, so you can do. That same effect to get that walking down effect, right? Uh, so you could do that walking down from that C, B, A, G there. Uh, you can do it over here as well to utilize the open string of that G. So on the G string, All right, you can do it there. Or you can do it on the first string, starting with that C, with that open of that B, and then two on the G, and then open G. Right? Um, and then we all know from the previous lessons that we talked about, right, the mini bar chord right here of this G. So if you're looking for hot spots of G, you know it's right there that overlaps with this C right here that we talked about. Uh, you can also do that little walk uh, all the way over here if you wanted to from this 13th position here. All on the B string, the second string there. Uh, this is going to be your C major chord. So. So you can also do something like that on the first string. So you have your root note of G right here of the eighth fret. And then to grab that C, it's gonna be on the eighth fret still, the first string, and then just walking down, right? Or you can do a combination of certain things. You can do it up here with the G, right? Uh, same kind of effect. You can do it like that, right? Uh, Second string 13, 12, 10, and then the third string 12. So there's like think in my head, um, maybe I could get the loop uh, pedal going and we can play along with the progression. All right, we got the loop. Uh, it's not that great and on the turnaround. You can hear uh, some funkiness because I'm not too good at like using the loop pedal. Uh, but nonetheless, we have the chords. Uh, it's gonna be just the chords so you can fill in the blank with the walking down effect. Right? Kind of the first pattern we showed off. Um, like a little something different there instead of actually doing all the full walk, 
uh, if you kind of land on a, a, a certain note and like you don't know where you're going, just always land on your root. And some of the uh, things that I like to do when I'm soloing, if I know what uh, key I'm in, so key of G, right, this is your G note, this right here on the G string, ironically, it's just a hot, it's just like a, I don't know why it just works for me, but I find it to be pretty good. You can slide, you can hammer on, but landing on that, and then same thing with that D shape there. Right? That's just always gonna work for me. Right? I don't know. Hopefully, uh, that is, um, uh, something that helps you out, uh, probably over five minutes right now. So, uh, thank you for allowing me to do this and trying to teach, uh, some soloing stuff on the acoustic. I told you I would do it. I'm a man of my word. So there you go. Uh, maybe we can expand further on, uh, what I showed you with the shapes on the electric. Might be a little easier to get up there on, uh, uh, cross the 13th, uh, fret there. So... Hopefully that helped out, and again, I will be teaching that Dylan song in full, so be on the lookout for that.